What is going on, loud and proud crowd? Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So we're actually about to do some stuff to Big Blue, the fourth gen that you guys can win right now, which by the way, if you guys don't know, this is your last two week reminder, okay? You're down to the last 14 days to enter to win that truck. If you're seeing this the day the video goes up, last 14 days, and then your possibilities of winning that truck are now gone. You have your option between the 2015 6, 7 Cummins fourth gen, deleted and tuned, or the 96 we call Frosty, which yes, you still have your option, of the 38s and 16 by 10s, once we get it back, it should be back this week, don't hold me to it. The 2015 or the 96 with $5,000 cash. Every $5, 10 entries to win, and that giveaway ends January 21st. But in terms of what we're doing on this truck today, it needs some front end work. I don't know about you guys, but there's just a freaking ton of chrome on this thing, even when it comes to like the headlights, the grill, the bumper, just too much chrome. And we're gonna fix all of that soon. And when I say we're gonna fix all that, I mean like there's not going to be any more chrome on this truck, like really at all. And hopefully you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. Stay tuned, that's gonna get good. And then also one more thing, if you guys have been following me on Instagram at loud and proud underscore diesel trucks you guys would know that I've put out some sneak peeks of the Longhorn second gen project and yes that truck is done we are gonna be picking it up tomorrow you should see the video by Wednesday of this week then after that we're gonna have new Longhorn custom-made seats for the truck as well so hopefully guys enjoy this it's gonna be crazy seeing that truck the whole transformation it's just gonna be nuts. So stay tuned guys. Let's get to getting this truck pulled up here a little bit closer to the garage and we're gonna go through installing some new headlights and grill on the truck right now. guys the headlights that we picked out for this truck. Okay, so here's the headlights that I actually picked out for this truck. And I know some of you might not love them, but I know a lot of you are going to really love them. Once you see the final product of the truck, like I said, there's gonna be a ton of color matching getting done. I'm even gonna have him redo the mirrors just cause I think they're kind of like a done in, you know, done in my garage sort of thing. And which is fine under certain applications if you know what you're doing, but I just would love it if they were a little more shiny, kind of like the paint on the truck, like a true paint match. So we're gonna have the mirrors done, bumpers done, grill done. That's pretty much gonna be it in terms of like overall changes to the truck. But these headlights are gonna really, really make the look come together and you'll just have to wait and see. It's not gonna be gone very long for the paint match. I think he said he's gonna have it like less than a week. I think like four days. So we're gonna see how it turns out, but I think it's gonna turn out pretty darn good. What's up, Rosie 24 v This is a turn. <laughs> so I got the wife who holds the camera here. Let me show you the grill for this truck. Might look familiar. Bam. Mm -mm. Here it is, in all of its glory. I kind of want to take that little emblem off. That's why I was telling you, I think I'm going to do that for the DB build. But then do what they did and bolt on like a little metal badge. Okay, so we got the grill on, we got the headlights on, and it looks, as much as I can tell, it looks really good. But I haven't taken the film off, which is going to hide a lot of the effect that it'll have. I know it's not been very long into the video, but let's get to showing you the headlights and grill on this truck. You guys like these headlights just as much as I do. Look at how these headlights are designed. You know what's funny is I'd actually ordered these about a week ago and like I hadn't seen them on any other truck. I was like, this is gonna be super cool. I ordered them about a week ago and then I started noticing them on other trucks. Maybe it's just because I happened to order them that I just started to realize like, dang, there are other trucks out there that have these, but they look good. I really, really like the look. I like how it's like a totally clear lens so you can see all the detail and design of the actual headlight assembly itself back behind the tubular LEDs that go around. Same with on this side, obviously everything's the same, but just love, love the look. And of course you guys gotta keep in mind that this front end is not gonna stay like this. We did that kind of like with the third gen. It was almost the exact same headlight setup. Actually, I think it was. The only difference is 
it was third gen. So um, in terms of the third gen setup, it was almost identical in terms of the grill, headlights, all that jazz. But what we're gonna do different about this truck is like I said earlier on in the videos, we're gonna color match it. So I might have a fourth gen grill. We have two sitting around here, color match, like an OEM grill. And I might have this one done as well. I might just have him like take the seam here, but this section from here up. So from this seam up, color match that all the way around. Same color as the truck. And then I'm gonna take the bumper, not the balance, but just all the chrome on the bumper. He's gonna sand it all pretty much off, prime it, and then paint it and basically just get rid of all the chrome and make it all color match. Same for the mirrors too. So you're gonna take the grill and another fourth gen grill probably I'm gonna drop off just so we can swap them out in case, you know, I like one better than the other, as in like this style. Get that whole front end color match. Same with the rear end of this truck. Should I have him do the door handles or no? Let me know down below. But in terms of the bumper, same thing on this. He's going to be stripping off the chrome and priming it and painting it as well to match the paint code of the truck. And he did tell me that it's easier to just buy a black paintable bumper and then just do that because you don't have to deal with chrome. But he said, how much would it cost you to get bumpers and get them in and get them on the truck so I can just work with those? I said, honestly, probably about 350 a bumper because I'm ordering like really nice ones that aren't like dented up and scratched up. And then I have to pay probably another 200 bucks to ship both of those you know, combined probably about 200 bucks to ship them both to the house. All that said and done, I'm like, it's gonna be expensive. And then I have to pay you to do the work on it, so like paint it. He's like, yeah, he's like, I'll probably do be able to do it for a little bit less than what it would cost you to do all that. He's like, just bring it over here. It's gonna cost me more time, but if it's still gonna save you more money in the end and you're gonna get the same quality job, he's like, I'll just do that. I'll just go through the hassle, stripping all the chrome priming it and then painting it and then you don't have to deal with getting new bumpers in and on the truck and all that stuff. So that's what we're doing right now is getting that ready to take over there and tomorrow picking up the second gen Longhorn. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be super cool. I've already started the truck twice to try to figure something out with the linkage on this thing. And I'm just not finding anything. I'm finding some things that just don't seem right to me, but I guess might not be really an actual issue. This is completely loose. If I can get the camera to actually focus, it's super sunny right now. This is super loose, but I think this more of like just keeping it on track with certain things, not necessarily like needing to be tight somewhere. Same with this kind of here, but this here, is the actual throttle linkage hook to the pedal. And it has a little slack, like it can go forward some more. But when we started the truck up, I pushed that forward, all that slack, I pushed it forward to try to see if that stopped it from screaming at over 2000 RPMs and it didn't do anything. It was so just screaming away. So it must be something more in the pump or maybe something back here. I don't know, but essentially. But let me kind of explain to you the whole real problem that it's having and I kind of explained it already in this video a little bit but essentially when you start the truck up this thing just screams and I mean ridiculously loud it sounds like it's a wide open throttle just just like screaming like it's just not good and to be clear this is something that started probably about June of 2019 so it's been going on a little while now, but it wasn't that bad. Like at first, it was it went from idling at like 500 to like 800. And it's like, it's idling a little bit higher. I'm like, yeah, that's not a big deal. You know, like in the winter, you're gonna wish it was idling, idling a little bit higher anyways. Well, another month goes by, he drives it a couple more times. He's like, hey, it's getting louder now. It's probably idling, I'm guessing just by the sound of it and other 12 valves that I've heard. I'm thinking, ah, oh, maybe 1,000, 1,100. I'm like, that kind of sucks, but I'm like, it's still, it's not really like a huge problem. Like, you know, winter's coming up, like whatever. When you don't drive it much, you're gonna wish it was high idling just a little bit. Well then, it's about, I wanna say fall, like September, October. I'm driving it and it was just high idling like that. Like it would probably cruise about 10 mile an hour down the road, 15 mile an hour without even using the throttle. I mean, it was kind of like that. And I'm like, okay, well, that's not great, but I'm like, it's manageable, it's not a big deal. I'm like, I'll, I'll get to it, you know, I'll fix it later. Well, I'm driving the truck up to Devon's to get worked on. On my way up there, and I'm like halfway there, like I'm just throttling the truck, driving it around, throttle, driving it, throttle, like whatever. And then I 
hammer down on it wants to pass, like to merge onto a highway. A second after that, now it's just like pinned at like 2000 RPM and it won't back off. You're going down the road and it's just no foot on the pedal and it's going 45 miles an hour. Just going, going, go, 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 go. Like no foot on the pedal, 45 miles an hour. Hardly stops at stoplights because it's revving so high. And I'm like, what on earth? earth is the problem like is it the throttle sticking like what is the deal well maybe it was a throttle sticking well like i just showed you out there i held the throttle forward as far as it would go you know because i had a little bit of play i'm like i'll hold this all the way forward so that there's no play in it at all well did that didn't change the idle speed at all. It's still just absolutely screaming. And I know that there's an idle screw on those, kind of like on the P pumps, but not in the same location on a completely different you know, pump. It's a VE pump. I'm not messing with it yet though, because the last thing I want to do is not be prepared, mess with some screw on the side of the pump, and then it freaking something stupid happens, and the thing just, we can't turn it off, and it revs through the roof or whatever. I don't know what to do with it, other than it needs the pump torn into. Maybe there's something in there that's sticking. I don't know. I don't know anything about VE pumps. I've bought a lot of second gen 12 valves, and I've done all kinds of pump stuff with those, like just little goofy stuff about, you know, with the idle, and the idle screw on the bottom of those, with, you know, rack travel and the pumps, all kinds of different little things, you know, but I've never messed with a VE pump really at all, like in terms of idle or, or anything, never. So this is where I'm asking for a favor. Can somebody please help me understand why on earth this thing is more and more and more just idling higher and higher and higher and higher. Like it's just getting crazy right now. And I would love to have this fixed because, oh yeah, what, what else are we doing to this truck? We're getting some paint and body work done. Finally, within the next, like I think two weeks, is getting dropped off. Overall, it's not too terrible. 85,000 mile truck, gonna have it all redone. Probably all just gonna keep it white. But let me start this thing up again so you can hear exactly what I'm talking about. Well, it doesn't look like I'll be running it at all, actually, because these batteries are done. And Frosty should be back soon. We're gonna put the 38s and the 16 by 10s on there, I promise, and like I said, if you haven't done so yet, enter to win either the 2015 6 7 out there or Frosty. Every $5 is 10 entries, and you guys only have two weeks left, and that giveaway is gone. So get in while you can, lmpgear.com or information in the description below. Thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.